Hello everyone! Today I'd like to show you how to make these beautiful rings. Some of them are midi rings, others are just regular rings. These two I've made it with the sterling silver. This is a 12 gauge half round wire and also this one I've used freshwater pearls with glass beads and that one's got crystals with it. This one's I've made using a 16 gauge copper wire. This is a round copper wire and they're adjustable and they are just beautiful. So whichever one you make it's just up to you as to what color of beads or gemstones you're gonna use. But the effect is just gorgeous. They're just beautiful. So let's begin. And I am going to get a piece of string. Measure first the size you want. So I say I'm going to put my middle finger roughly as to... Okay, transfer that. So I need two and a half inches. I already got some wire. This is a half round sterling silver. And this is just left over from my scrap. So we need two and a half and I might as well use the whole hog. I've got four inches. So allow about half an inch overlap minimum. So as your ring meets in the center like that, so I just allow half an inch over on each side. Just to be safe, it's better. I always say it's better to have more than less. So now that part is bent, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and hammer this. I'm just hammering the end to about three quarter of an inch for a guesstimate. As I'm hammering it, I'm dragging it. So just hit it and drag along. We're just flaring out the ends. Tip it over because they tend to bend. And I'll do the same on the opposite side. And just inspect it. So now I'm gonna take my scissor and with this one I'm gonna go on the other side first where it's straight so I'm just basically cutting it bit by bit and as you cut it you can see that it's curling so and it's quite thin on the edge there so I'm just gonna go angle it to the other side because we don't want it to break then these two now. So the center, as you can see, is quite thick. If I put my beads through, see how it just a little bit on the tight side. So I could file that back or I could just cut it as well. So, but anyway, I'll leave that side for now and I'm gonna go on the opposite side and do the same. So now what we're going to do is straighten this up. Middle part here, I'll just see which one I need to use to put the bigger beads. So I'm going to try the bigger beads first. The six and a half actually this is or seven mil. So that fits perfectly in there. So I'm going to leave that there. And what I'm going to do is, see, I have a lot of room on the back part here. So, I'll just file this back a little bit here because it's a bit sharp. Okay, and so the middle, I would like it to sit sort of halfway to the tip there. But see how it goes up there? So what we're going to do is just twist it a little bit. creating a different look again. So it's like a little vine. Okay, and so now I'm going to insert this, the large bead, and then at the end there I've got enough room to loop it up or just make a little curl on the tip of it. Like that. Just easy. And I'm going to get my flat nose pliers and just squeeze it. Just gently. So there you go. So it doesn't move. Now, if it's a little bit sharp, just file it. Excellent. Okay, so the other side now, I'm going to insert the other beads. And 
So that one's got a natural curl and it just stops there. So again, I'll curl up the end. Sort of tucking it in. And again, press it. And file it again. And on the other side here, that's a little bit thick. So what I want to do with that one, see it's quite thick. So if I try and put this one, it's not going to fit. So either I could put another one of this bead or put more smaller beads. So what I'm going to do is straighten it up and I can see that's thick enough to have another bead through there. But in here, I've got a smaller area. So to widen that, so I can cut it, I'm going to put the wire right inside the mouth of my pliers and just squeeze it and you will notice that it's starting to widen. There you go. Just ease it along, turning it the other way. So now, that is wide enough for me to cut. So now I've got a wide enough surface to cut that. Okay, so now I've got those two, and so now I can put, I'll just see if it fits, excellent, and on the other side, okay, beautiful, so there you go, now put that one in and curl it, the same drill, take my chain nose pliers or round nose pliers, and I'll curl the end again, and flattening it with the flat nose pliers. Filing it again, and I'll do the same on the other side. So now I've got one side done, and it's all nice and no sharp edges. So now I'll do the same on the other side, but notice how it's twisted up. So if I put it there, the wire's twisting up or flicking out. And what I'm going to do is take my flat nose pliers. And straighten it out. So now I'm going to put on the side there, I'll put the small ones. And with this one, I'm just going to curl it. And the end of it is quite thick, so I'm just going to trim that off. And curl it. And squash. And then see, that's the end with the other bit there that's sticking out. So what you do is get anything pointy. So I'm using my nail punch and then just pushing the tip of that just so it doesn't catch on on anything okay it's good enough now put the other one here and then with this one I'd like it to go on the end so I'm gonna bend it to stop it from rolling down see how it stops just there so if I bend it more that would give a nice curve to our ring and then this one now I'm just gonna curl this up or loop it up And the middle part here now, what I want to do is I could put the same green one or I'll put another one of this. But this time I'm going to use a bigger one. So notice the size. So oops. So that one is like a six and a half millimeter and this one. So it's an eight millimeter and then the other one was six and a half. So okay. So but we'll see first, see if it fits just in case. But what we're going to do is straighten it up. So it'll go in. There you go. That's beautiful. So now the tip, we're going to curl it up. So just make sure that everything's in. There you go. And also file it. So just be very careful not to scratch the glass bead. Okay, dogs. So now I'm going to take my ring mandrel. So I'm going to go sit it on eight. going around so I want it to be about nine so I'm just gonna go on eight and I'll use my nail punch just push things down open that up take that off put it on in my middle finger okay so that's how it sits so we're gonna adjust it so from that point those two points I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna do some curling 
So I'd say that's the center and I'm going to take flat nose pliers, just bend it a little bit. This side as well, I'm going to just bend it. So all I'm doing is just making some adjustments. So now after a bit of tweaking, my ring is now finished.